Are you trying to figure out how to stop stupid people from leaving comments on your lives? Then this video is for you because today's business owner Q&A is from the Fearless Business Owners Group and that's what Latoska Asbury wants to know. I'm Elise Michelle. I'm a YouTube business strategist and lead generator, which means that I help you use video to create visibility and generate leads for your business. And today we're answering Latoska Asbury's question, how can I stop people from leaving stupid comments on my lives? The very first question you need to ask yourself if you're having this problem is, does your title do a good job of attracting the right audience? Because if your title isn't clear, you're going to end up with people on your video who aren't the right people, right? So take a look at your titles, reevaluate your naming and your descriptions, and make sure that you're encouraging the right people to show up and discouraging the wrong people from showing up. So the very first thing that I would do is I would double check your titles and descriptions. I see this a lot of times where people are doing lives and they're not really putting much of a description at all. In that case, of course, you're going to end up with people on your lives that are not the right people. So that's the first thing I would check, Latoska. If you want to get help with your questions so that you can get answers as well, just like Latoska, be sure to join the Fearless Business Owners Facebook group. I'll put the link in the description of this video. The next thing you need to ask yourself is, is it the same channel commenting over and over again? If that's the case, what you're going to do is you're going to go to studio.youtube.com. You're going to scroll down here on the left hand side until you see settings. You're going to click on settings. Then you're going to click on community and that's going to bring you to the community automated filters. And this is going to let you set it up so that if the same channel is commenting stupid stuff over and over again, they can't do it anymore. So you're just going to scroll down until you get to where it says hidden users and you can actually hover over this little question mark. It'll tell you what it is, but suffice it to say it is set up so that people here in this list cannot comment or chat on your lives or videos. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. And it even will remove old comments and chats for the people that you put in this section. So that's going to be one of the things you can do to prevent this. If you're finding that the same channels are doing this over and over again. And then the final thing that I want you to ask yourself is, are they leaving the same types of comments? Perhaps they're always using the same word. If that's the case, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to use studio.youtube.com. You're going to go to settings. Then you're going to click on community and you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says blocked words. And you're going to put the words in here that they keep saying. And what will happen is when you put things here in the blocked words, any comments with those words or closely matching words, are going to be held for review, meaning you'll be able to see them in your comment section, but nobody else will be able to see them. But what it does with the chat messages is slightly different. It actually just outright blocks them. So if these words or any similar words are used in your chat, it'll just block those. And then your comments, you'll get the opportunity to review them and potentially put them up if they aren't in fact spam messages, right? So those are the three things that I would recommend that you look at if you're having trouble with your channel getting stupid comments like Latoska Asbury. You're going to number one, reconsider what you're naming your lives and the description and fix that. Number two, make sure that you add any channels that are doing this to you to the hidden users. Number three, pay attention to what they're saying. And if there are words that are being used over and over again, go and put those in the blocked words in your settings. For those of you that are looking for a deeper dive and even more help with YouTube, I suggest you join the YouTube cohort for personalized help, where I walk you through step by step how to use YouTube as your number one source of leads and sales for your small business. To sign up, go to myschedulebiz.com slash cohort. I am so glad that we get to live our dreams together every single day, and I hope to see you next time.